Hello friends and welcome to my new channel for cleaning and organizing motivation with some tips and real life stories related to mental health. My name is Alexandra and I am so excited you are here with me today. Like I said earlier, my name is Alexandra. I am a wife and a mother who also does work a full-time job. I do work from home, so I do have that benefit. Um, I have been married about nine and a half years to my wonderful husband, Zach. We do have a 10-year-old daughter named Isabella and a six-year-old son, Colt. Our house is a bit of a zoo. We have two cats, two dogs, and a bearded dragon. And I just wanted to start out by saying hello and welcome. And I started this channel to bring more awareness to the connection between mental health and housework or just all around daily activities and those who are suffering from any sort of mental health diagnosis. Many times we as moms or as women we put ourselves as the need to be perfect and maintain the picture-perfect household. And when we don't meet those standards, we really beat ourselves up over not accomplishing those standards. And I'm here to tell you, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay not to be perfect. No one is perfect. And it's okay to set your own standards and set your own goals and live up to those goals. see here I am restocking the lunch bars for the week um my husband loves these thing protein bars he is really big on making sure he has well enough protein throughout the day so these are really great and making sure he hits that protein goal for himself along with his protein shakes um and then there's also some for the kids in here they love these chewy bars and their lunches. It's just a great little snack, a um, great little thing on the go. And let's see. <laughs> I was diagnosed with anxiety and major depression about four years ago, but honestly, I was still struggling. I felt like I was failing at this whole thing we call life, and nothing seemed to help or pull me out of my funk that I was in. And then this past year, I was actually diagnosed with bipolar 1 disorder along with ADHD, and everything just kind of clicked. It all made sense to me. This was when... I decided I needed to make some major life changes for myself, my family, and just a better quality of life. Um, I booted out as much as I as much as I can. I still have moments, um, but I took out any negative self talk, self doubt, um, and I set goals for myself. Not as much as like New Year's resolutions, but obtainable goals that I give myself timelines. You know. This I want to complete by March. This I need to complete by the end of February. You know, just different things like that. Um, I'm still changing and I still come across roadblocks. And I can't lie, there are some days that aren't great. And But if I can help just one individual, one person, 
man, woman, mom, dad, anybody that just wants to feel open and free to talk about their mental health status or if they're feeling like they might just need to vent out. I just want to say I'm here to listen, to talk, um, and just give any tips or tricks or, you know, a good listening ear. And I know sometimes that's just all it takes to move past and get to the next step of healing. second clip i wasn't able to cut it out um so we'll just kind of forget that was there um and some here dusting and kind of moving things around get onto it and i will say you know with my diagnosis my housework suffered greatly prior to the bipolar diagnosis it was always cluttered messy and just overall unkept i hated I hated it. I, the majority of the days, I could not bring myself to even attempt to tackle the mess just because it was so overwhelming. I would, you know, then I would hit my manic states where I would deep clean absolutely anything and everything that did not need to be cleaned. Um, I will say I still have an oven that I can't use because I took it apart to deep clean it and I cannot figure out how to put it back together. Um, but, you know, after my diagnosis, I made myself a morning routine that gets me up, gets me going, um, and a daily cleaning routine of what chores need to be done and what detail um, and what needs to be done throughout the day. And I'll go into detail on more of those routines in, the, in a later video. video as you can see we just took care of our kitchen area and we're now moving into the upstairs living room and then we'll tackle our entryway which for some reason always is a complete disaster um, the living room itself just gets cluttered with randomness from me my kids and my husband so just a lot of randomness that gets pulled into there um, and then you'll see, um, towards the end, we'll do some vacuuming with my shark vacuum. Uh, my son around those couches gets crumbs all around the edges of the couches on the floor. So he loves his snacks. So I always got to keep an eye out for those. Um, you'll also see my kids popping in. And, um, that was my daughter, Isabella, and then Colt will pop in here in just a, just a few moments. They are really excited that I made a YouTube, I'm making a YouTube channel, so they'll randomly make appearances. youngest and oldest uh, youngest and biggest animal Cassidy she is a purebred Great Dane um she'll be eight months old or she is eight months old currently um uh, and she really is my shadow she is behind me checking me out from room to room here's my son Colt um and she just, if I'm moving around, she's moving around with me. She just has to see what I'm doing and what I'm up to. And so, 
you'll see her a lot. just switched to using Amazon, uh, sorry, Method brand and Everspring brand products and I absolutely love them. They work really well and they smell amazing. Um, I do use microfiber cloths for just about everything to wipe down just about everything. Um, these ones that I did get, uh, not this one, but the blue one and the white ones that I use, I did get from Amazon came in a box of 50 and honestly they did work great but they are a little bit older so i'm kind of looking for something new so if you do have any recommendations at all on microfiber fiber cloth please drop it in the comments below see here this is where i'm going around the couches and the couch in the corners to get all those little crumbs from all of those snacks and for mopping the floors i love using this oxyclean powder and uh dishwasher pod it gets the floors really clean and then once i in some hot water definitely um hot water and then once i go over the the floors with this mixture. I then go over it with the method mop, a squirt and mop. Um, that smells like almonds. I love the smell of that one. Um, I'll go over it with that after I do this old cedar mop. to our entryway um so when you walk in our front door it's a split level so you have stairs that go downstairs and stairs that go upstairs um and quite honestly this always accumulates everything it possibly can trash jackets shoes which our shoes do go down here um then we just place things on the stairs that need to go up place things on the stairs that need to go down and it always just becomes such a mess and there's always so much like dirt and dust that accumulates in um so yeah so i'm gonna get to work on this and we'll see if we can make some progress <laughs> Before 
I go, I just want to thank you again so much for watching this video with me and cleaning with me. I really hope it gave you some motivation. If not, and you're here to just kind of watch and relax, I hope it gave you some time for relaxation. Um, I know I love watching cleaning videos just to kind of take my mind off things and get myself motivated to clean my own house. So um, I do also just kind of want to touch base about the, the relationship between mental health and your house cleanliness. And just know that you are not alone and I've been there. I, I, I still get there um, from time to time where I don't want to get up and do anything and I'm just overwhelmed with the mess. And I tell you, I have been there, absolutely. And you're not alone and just know that, just take it a little bit at a time. Just pick up the shoes, just pick up the trash. Just take one thing at a time and that will kind of give you the push. Or if it doesn't, then you got your shoes picked up and the garbage picked up. So just do what is best for you and your mentality and just know that we're here to support you. And again, if you have any questions, comments, anything at all, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer, happy to chat back. Um, I thank you again so much for joining me on this video, my very first cleaning video, and thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed.